The reality is that we were reading A Wrinkle in Time and we ran out of time to even do anything with our poetry portfolio. And I actually went super away from what I had planned, but I completely forgot that today is International Women's Day and I couldn't let that pass by. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. So today is Wednesday, March 7th. It is the day after the FSA writing test, and I have to say I'm really proud of my students because I saw them really focused and engaged in doing the test, and they felt really good about it afterwards. We didn't talk specifics, obviously. We just asked, you know, if they felt prepared, and they said they did. So for this week's vlog, I wanted to focus on poetry. So I can't wait to show you what I have planned for the students and what we're going to be doing in class and my poetry portfolio, which I will show you just a few seconds. So come along with me for this short, hopefully, vlog. I'm only going to show you what we're going to be doing poetry based today, tomorrow and Friday. So it'll be just little short snippets of our focus on poetry. So stick around. So this is the new setup that we have going on in our classroom right after we were done with the FSA writing, I went ahead and I put the desk in like a U and a mini U, sort of like a mini U in the center. I still have my five groups. The students actually don't know which group is which unless they see kind of like the baskets, but it gets confusing with the ones in the front. So I'm thinking I'm going to take these chairs and I'm going to unstack them for them this morning and put the chair pockets on them so that they kind of know where the teams are. So we have a group of four over here on the side, that's red team. And we have a group of three, that's orange team. Another group of three, that's green team. A group of four, that's blue team. And this group of four in the middle, that's purple team. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that for them so that they're not confused and they kind of see where the groups start and end. All right, let me get to that. All right, I just finished putting all the chairs in place and putting all the chair pockets on the chair so that the students know where the teams are. And this is how everything looks. And now it's time to let the students in. So catch up with you later. And here are my copies for the rest of this week. So we're gonna start our poetry portfolio. This is just the cover. That's what I used to copy. And we're going to do our daily language arts warm up to catch up. So they're gonna do Monday and Tuesday today and tomorrow, Thursday, they'll do Wednesday, Thursday. And this is how I copied their covers for their poetry portfolio so they're in a rainbow of colors thank you astro brights for making our work brighter because color activates the brain and let me pass through the daily language arts warm up oops i kind of got one second so this is basically the portfolio it's going to be in the form of a booklet with the cover sheet covering it in a nice color and we're going to start today with bio poems Basically, I created this myself, so I'll be sure to include it in my Teachers Pay Teacher store. And I tell them what each poem is and how do you write one. And then all the examples that I provide for them, I wrote myself. So then they write their own on this page. So every page in the booklet goes like that. It shows them a type of poem, some examples or an example, and then they write their own. This one happens to be a couplet, so I have them write their own couplet and then draw a picture related to what they wrote about in their couplet and so forth. I'll show you what these look like when I finish putting them together. So I'm very excited for the poetry unit that we're going to be starting today and going all the way through April because April is poetry month and that's where we kind of culminate everything with that. Hopefully they'll have their portfolio pretty much done by then. So I'll share that with you more later. So I just finished putting together all the poetry portfolio booklets and I just love how all these different colors look. It just makes my dear teacher brain happy. And yeah, it's just a half little book and all the poems are there. And today we're gonna be focusing on, and I kind of skipped the page, bio poems. So they're all ready to go. The one last thing that I need to do is on the back, I put a little piece of duct tape to cover the staples so that the students don't cut themselves with the staples. But that's it, I'll get that done and they should be ready for the students to get writing on them. 
All right, it is now my lunch time, and it's also time for what I'm going to call expectation versus reality. So my expectation was for my students to have time today to be introduced to their poetry portfolio, write their names on the cover, dedicate it, and write their bio poem as they learned about what that kind of poem was like, looked at the example and wrote their own. The reality is that we were reading A Wrinkle in Time and we ran out of time to even do anything with our poetry portfolio. So yeah, I introduced the students to A Wrinkle in Time today. I told them that we're not gonna be able to double up on chapters. It is 12 chapters, but the chapters are longer than what they're used to from other classroom novels that we read this year. So we didn't even get to finish chapter one. So it's okay. Tomorrow we'll do the introduction for the poetry portfolio and get that ball rolling. Let me show you what we did that was related to poetry today because we are focusing on poetry. So let me get the little paper that I put together to go along with Wonders Unit 4, Week 5. All right, so I have created and I have shown in my blogs previous papers like this that go along with my Wonders Unit that I actually put together myself. This one, the essential question is how the writers look at success in different ways. We look at a multimedia video. And for this one, I actually wanted to do a close activity where I wrote what the video said and I took out words and substituted them with blanks so that the students can complete it as they listen and watch the video. They watched it two times and they completed it and then they needed to answer this question based on the video clip. Then we went ahead I did the listening comprehension for Sam's box, which was a poem. They can write notes as they listen to me, and then they use the information from the poem that they listen to to complete these two questions. We didn't get to this because of time. It's Wednesday, so again, it's a short day. But I put the spade strategy right here, condensed from a previous way that I was doing these type of papers. And this is the shared read, which is Sing to Me and the Climb, which are two different poems. So they'll be able to answer all of these questions based on those two poems which talk about success and how a character achieves success. And these questions come from our pacing guide. So that's what we were able to do today with poetry. We just didn't get to the poetry portfolio, but that's okay, tomorrow's another day. Hello everyone, it is now Thursday, March 8th, and I'm actually filming this at the end of the day. I just didn't have time today to film during the day, and I actually went super away from what I had planned. I know I wanted to focus this video on the poetry that we're going to be doing, but I completely forgot that today is International Women's Day, and I couldn't let that pass by. So I immediately got two different products from Teachers Pay Teachers, which I will share with you right now. And we just went over one of the PowerPoints, which was one of the things that I did get from Teachers Pay Teachers. And I showed them a brain pop video, which I'll show you what that was. We also read a little bit about Malala and saw an interview that Ellen did on her so that the kids were more aware of who she is. And then we started on the actual activity that I'm gonna show you that the kids did. That took up the entire class period, and I did that with both of my classes. So tomorrow, they'll finish that activity for ketchup and pickles in the morning, and then we'll jump back into the poetry. So let me quickly show you what that was. And yes, it's the end of the day, my hair is up, messy hair, don't care. It's been one of those days, and I am just uh, glad that the day is over. So I need to show you what the students did and then I'm gonna be heading home. So let me show you that now. So one of the products is this PowerPoint presentation on International Women's Day. And this is by Paula's Place, which I'll link in the description box below. And she basically gives some interesting facts about International Women's Day. And she provides these slides with the colored background, but then she also provides the slides without the color background so you can print them out if you want to use them as posters in the classroom or any other way. And yeah, this is one of the resources that I got. The other resource was this paragraph flip book that I also purchased. And basically the students think of a woman they admire and they draw a picture. They brainstorm about that woman, about their attributes and accomplishments and why they admire them. Then they start thinking about three details that best describe that person. And then they think of an opening sentence and a closing sentence for their paragraph. 
It includes a success criteria so that they know what to include for the assignment and then they write their paragraph on the last page. As you can see, this is meant to be printed on a large sheet of eight and a half by 11 paper, but I actually ended up printing them in two per page, so it's like half of the page. The teacher also includes a rubric so that you can use to score. I don't see who actually created this just from the resource. So I will check back on my Teachers Pay Teachers purchase and I will link that store in the description box below as well. So these are my examples and my finished products for my morning group. I chose Michelle Obama. So as you can see, it's just half of an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper instead of the full sheet so that I can display more as the students finish them. So I did my brainstorming and here I wrote my three details my opening and closing. I checked off the success criteria. And here is the paragraph that I wrote about Michelle Obama. And then for my afternoon class, I decided to do Sally Ride. And again, there's my picture. There's my brainstorming about Sally Ride. My three details. My opening and closing sentences for my paragraph the success criteria, and there's my paragraph about Sally Wright. So I can't wait to see the students' finished products as they finish it so that I can also display it outside and in the classroom. Oh, and one more thing. So in addition to having the students see the PowerPoint, I forgot to show you the Brain Pop video that we saw, and then I'll show you what I was just showing you right now. So hold on a second. Okay, here we go. All right, so in addition to going over the PowerPoint and reading about Malala and watching her interview. I also had the students watch this women's suffrage video on Brain Pop, which goes along with Words for Change, which was a story that we read a couple weeks ago in our Wonder series that talked about Elizabeth Cady Stanton, Lucretia Mott, and Susan B. Anthony fighting for women's rights to vote, which was great. And it talked about the march in New York and the video mentioned that as well, as well as the Declaration of Rights and Sentiments that Elizabeth Cady Stanton wrote along with Lucretia Mott. So they did that. And I also created these long time ago. These are women's history cards, famous women. So they're not in any particular order. And every year I add a few more, but basically it has like a black and white photo or illustration about each woman, their name, their dates of birth and dates of death if they um, are no longer with us and information about them, about why they're famous. So these are the women that we went over and we went over them twice. So the first time was just to give them an idea of who these people were. And then they got like an index card from me so that they can, as we were looking at these cards again a second time, they could kind of write a woman that was interesting to them and that they admire and for what reason, so that they can then be inspired to write about them or know exactly who they're gonna write to if they didn't choose their moms or anybody else in their family that they admire, they can definitely choose one of these famous women. So let me show you the different ones that I have in here. And every year I kind of try to add a little bit more as I go along. And it's just interesting for them to see like who was the first woman to do this, who was the first woman to be in office for this party, who was the first woman to win an Academy Award, uh, the, et cetera. And it goes for like the first Hispanic woman, the first African-American woman, the first woman period. So it's interesting for them to see, especially learning about Julia Tuttle, because we have a causeway named after her down here in Miami and a lot of them don't know that she's known as the mother of Miami because she owned most of the land that Miami is on today. And she also is responsible for bringing Henry Flagler down and encouraging him to bring the railroad down here so that it, it could help the economy and it did, it helped Miami grow. So these are the different women that we kind of like went over. They knew some of them and some of them they didn't know. So it was really good for them to have this kind of pictorial representation of all these famous women and why they are important to women's history. Now, the only thing that I did that was poetry related was that I did finish off 
support your portfolios for the students by making sure the staples in the back were flat. So what I did is I just took a hammer and I pounded the staples so they were flat and then I cut a little piece of black duct tape and I put it right on top of the staple so that the students wouldn't kind of cut themselves with the staples sticking out or anything. So that's what I did with all of the little booklets for their poetry portfolios, which I hope that they can start writing their bio poems tomorrow. And I actually thought about having them write a Clarihue for the woman that they admire, which is actually what I think I had my class do last year. Last year, because we were learning about Clara Hughes around International Women's Day, I had them draw an illustration about the woman they admired, and then, if I can get the page to turn, because it's kind of like not letting me, and it's kind of hard to do this with one hand, while the other hand holds the camera. Hold on. Okay, here we go. So Clara Hughes are usually done um, about a person. They're about a person in two couplets. So that's my Claire Hue about Abraham Lincoln. So I was thinking of having them probably do a Claire Hue, if not tomorrow, definitely next week, on a woman they admire or a famous woman. So basically these are the poetry portfolios, which I can't wait for the students to use and show you how they write in them and the poems they create. So that in a nutshell is what happened today and I've been really, really tired and stressed out and not stressed out, overwhelmed, yeah. I've been really, really tired this week and overwhelmed. You know, testing was just on Tuesday and it's just trying to get back into the routine and making sure that we address all the other reading standards so that the students are ready for their test in April. So I'll catch up with you tomorrow and share with you what we do with poetry tomorrow. And hopefully I can share with you some of the paragraphs that the students finish so that you can see what they create. Some of them decided that they were gonna do it on their moms, which I thought was really cool. I told them it could be a famous woman or any woman in their life that, that they admire and that they look up to. So I can't wait to see their finished products, okay? So I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, and it's now Friday, March 9th, and it is Funky Teacher Friday. And it's actually very cold outside for March in South Florida. It was like in 53, 54 this morning. And I know for some of you that may not seem so cold, but it's cold for us. Not super duper cold, but cold. And the sweater wasn't enough because the cold air was just going through it. But I left my thicker sweater here in the classroom yesterday, so I had to deal this morning with this. Anyway, so today the students are going to finish their Women they admire paragraphs this morning is ketchup and pickles. My homeroom didn't finish their daily language warm up, so they'll finish that today as well for ketchup and pickles. And then we're gonna continue diving into poetry. So hopefully today the students can write their bio poems and I can show you a little bit more about the poetry portfolio. So I'm very excited to show you what I have in store for my students today. Also today is Funky Teacher Friday, like I think I mentioned, I'm not sure, cause I'm just like talking and not remembering what I'm saying. But anyway, I have this shirt that is a shirt that I bought for when I go running, but I thought I'll wear it today. Um, it says, run like dementors are chasing you. So I love Harry Potter. That's one of the things that I also love. So I am wearing that shirt today in memory of Harry Potter, which actually I know that yesterday I showed you my examples of the women I admire. Um, paragraphs and i did one on michelle obama i did one on sally ride and i'm gonna do two more one on jk rowling and another one on my mom of course right so i can't wait to share my day with you and that'll conclude the week vlog for today it's not really a week i mean i vlogged monday i didn't vlog tuesday for obvious reasons it was a state writing test and i have vlogged wednesday thursday friday so Anyway, I'll see you soon and my students will be coming in so I got to straighten up the desk because they're crooked because I put them in a certain way but it doesn't fail. They always move the desk. They can't keep them still. All right, so I'll catch up with you probably sometime during my planning time. All right, so right now is my planning time. It's like the end of my planning time. I have like 15 minutes left because I went to the office to do a couple of things and to get some forms because I'm taking some days off next week for mental health days 
And um, the students have been finishing up on their paragraphs for the woman they admire. And I finished my third one on J.K. Rowling. So let me show you that. And then I'll show you some of the ones that the students kind of are finishing off. Hopefully they'll finish in a couple more minutes when they come back from specials. And then I can start putting them up on the outside bulletin board display. So let me show you that now. So as before, here's my Michelle Obama and my Sally Ride one. And here's my JK Rowling one. So here is my brainstorming. And here is my paragraph on why I admire JK Rowling. So I'm really liking how these are coming out. And let me show you now some of the students. Here's one student that is done and she chose Nadia Kamenechi. She was the first gymnast to get a perfect score in the Olympics. Here's another student that is done. This is the student that did it on me. She actually needed extra space, so she's continued writing on the back. Here's another one. Here's another one that is done. She did it on Oprah Winfrey. Here's another one that is getting there. Another Oprah Winfrey one. Here's one that's done on Sally Ride. Here's one that another student completed. And here's one, this is Elizabeth Blackwell, the first woman doctor. And here's another one. So yeah, the students are gonna finish it up and then we're gonna read some Wrinkle in Time. I decided to go ahead and do the Clara Hughes on the woman that they chose next week anyway as part of their poetry practice. And Clara Hughes are couplets that are written about a person. So I think it'll be perfect for that. So I'll catch up with you later today. All right, so it's the end of the day and I'm actually getting ready to head on out and start my weekend. But I wanted to show you really quickly the last paragraph of the woman that I admire that I made. So I made a total of four. And then I'm gonna flip through some of the ones that the students did finish today. So here are the ones that I showed initially with the JK Rowling. And this is the fourth one, which I made on my mom which I will go ahead and give to her today, cause why not? So this is the flip book with my paragraph and my checklist for success. And there's my paragraph. So I can't wait to show that to my mom today. And here are my two different stacks from my two classes so that I can show you. So let's start with this pile. So here we have Michelle Obama, Michelle Obama, Oprah Winfrey, Rosa Parks, Mom, Joanne K. Rowling, Malala, Harriet Tubman. This is, hmm, I don't know what this is. Oh, okay, this person did it on me. I'm the Jedi, that is really cool. Wonder World, that is super cute. All right, this person did it on their sister, mom, Tamara, which I'm pretty sure is probably mom, because some of them decided to use their first name of their mamas, Michelle Obama, mommy, Harriet Tubman. Okay, so those are from one class, and this is from the other class. So we have Malala, mom, 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 super cute. Nadia Kamanechi. This is probably grandma. This is, I forgot, but this is Elizabeth Blackwell, female doctor. Yes, I wanna be a doctor. A student, Sally Ride, Sally Ride, Malala, Holly Berry. This person I don't think was here today, or they left early. Okay, um, this person wasn't here today. Oprah Winfrey, Malala, Helen Keller, Oprah Winfrey, and me. And that was just a bonus for me. So yeah, um, I don't have time to show you their paragraphs, but they wrote pretty good paragraphs, the ones that were able to finish. So now I'm just gonna display them on our display board outside.
And because I am actually rushing out of here right now, I will put those up next week when I come back on Monday. And I'll be sure to show you that bulletin board display at some time next week. So that's it for today. And that's it for this vlog. So I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you enjoyed from today's vlog. And also if you have a woman that you admire, go ahead and comment down below on that woman and why she inspires you in any way. So happy International Women's Day again. Happy Women's History Month. And I'll see you next week on my next vlog or my next video. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And um, like I said, I'll see you next time. Have a beautiful, magical day. Don't forget to smile.